Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be playing some more Gold Rush the game. So we are currently running out the last of the dirt that we have. This is going to be our last Gold Rush the game video. So, here we go, 0%. Let's shut these off. I think I might have missed that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, um, so we got about 12% extra there, and um, yeah, so again we have this $1 million skin. I'll give you guys a little tour, because obviously it's been about, what would it be, the last video we ended on the first day of the 7th, 6th season, sorry, so 19 days ago. Still have the Christmas skin on these three Frankensteins, that hasn't changed, but what I did do was I, I cut into this hill a little bit, gave ourselves some more room from these tracks. I also cut into this, I rounded the corner a little bit because this like bucket thing sticks out like a foot and a half, two feet. So when I swing it around, um, it's a little easier. I also cut into this hill, rounded that corner a little bit to make it easier to get around because it was really tight before. So this Frankenstein's at full extension. It has to be all the way up so that this one, the bucket part is all the way down. This one is fully extended and it's all the way up again so that it can reach into that bucket. This one we basically have flat. This one's fully extended as well. And that's just so that it gets the most amount of range being flat. You know, if you angle it, you lose a little bit of range. We have our million dollar uh, dragon scale front end loader here. This one is also um, maxed out. I just reached the max length not too long ago. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we have four fully length Frankensteins. Um, at, the, at the end of last season, oh, the light trailer's not here, but I think I might put it in storage. Um, there, I had a light trailer that I forgot out here, which is right in this corner. Well, actually I rounded this corner as well, so that I could get this uh, up there. Just to make it a little easier for the angle. But I had a light trailer, and the arm broke on it, and I think I had a tire that broke. And the tire was actually on this trailer up here. So this trailer it was inside, but if you guys recall, I parked the bulldozer in there, and I couldn't get out, so I had to reload the game. When I parked this in there again, I must not have noticed that it, it pushed this trailer out, and it respawned out here, and it was super snowy that day. I couldn't, I didn't see it. So that trailer sat out. The tire got broke on there. I thought it was the tire on the, um, the light trailer, but that tire was already broken, I'm pretty sure. Or no, that was the, that was the, uh, that's the gas trailer. It, yeah, it also blew a fuel filter. That was the other thing that it broke. So it, it broke, the battery was already gone, so it broke fuel filter, it broke the arm, which you can kind of see, the big red icons right in the way, but right here. And then, the tire. Well, it's got four things wrong with it right now. Um, I was also going to show you guys, I found out you can actually fit the bulldozer in here. I was kind of fiddling around because now that I'm basically done with the game, I thought it was kind of interesting. You can actually reach the small excavator, or a big excavator, in here and scoop a little bit. And I was wondering if maybe you could scoot the small one through. I'm not sure if that would work or not. But I found it kind of interesting and I pushed it all kind of towards the back. But it's kind of funny how little amount of dirt there is in here. Like, I scooped out this whole area on the first claim, Old Arnold's, which you guys, I have a separate video about that, or you can see kind of when I go show it in the last video. But it took us like half a year, it took us like 20 days worth to dig through this whole thing by hand. I also wanted to show you guys I've had a lot of workers apply to work for us, so let's check this out quick. We'll go to awaiting, one, two, three, yeah, we have five. So we got a trommel, we got a shaker, hog pants sluice box, 
drilling machine and overseer. And then we hired a few new guys. I'm pretty sure this is like glitched or something. It doesn't let my guys go past level one, even though they're maxed out on XP. So the guys that I've had for a long time, they're all like full level one. Um, so we got two guys for the hot pen containers. That's that guy and this guy. Oh, okay, so first and fourth. And then we got the trommel, the shaker, and then we got right here the hot pen sluice box. We got our second hot pen sluice box. We got two duplex jigs. So I'm pretty sure we got all of it. We have eight different guys. And then if we go back, I was going to check. Um, this wasn't here last video. I don't know why. Maybe it takes a few days. But yeah, that's our gold from the last episode. And uh, what was I just going to do? Oh, check the gold price. So let's check the price here. It's gone down a little bit. It was, yeah, it was about 13, maybe 02, 03, 04, something like that. But last video, I think it had gone up to about 1270, so we're about the same, because last video we ended right about here. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys kind of a little end of the season kind of tour of the area. So, well, yeah, showed you the workers, showed you the trailers, um, the Frankensteins, everything's all extended. Uh, we have $591,000 after, you know, paying our workers, paying for some fuel, some parts. Um, yeah, we're still doing pretty good. I'll just... Apparently someone else wants to work for us. I don't know why I've had a lot of those lately. Like, a ton. But yeah, if you guys look at how far back we are in this claim, like, we dug out, especially how tall these walls are, we dug out a ton of dirt. So I think, I think where we ended off, we were about maybe right here, straight across, or something like that. I don't actually remember where we were, because it's been like six weeks real life, and in-game it's been like 19 days, so three, well, yeah, almost three weeks. There is another pocket of gold up there, but I'm not going to go and get that. Yeah, this is what our, our claim looks like now. So I was thinking, since it's the last video, I, I kind of should I think I should have saved the tour that I did, uh, like two videos ago, for this last one, and just kind of been like, hey, here's what we did, all the stuff in this game, and then ended it off, but that's alright. Um, actually, I'm going to go, I'm going to go back and grab my truck. Actually, I'm going to run back into town, and we'll just smelt our gold and uh, sell it. Maybe we'll buy a couple more skins, and I guess we'll just call it a a series at that point, because uh, we got nothing nothing really left to do. I mean, we've mined out basically all four claims. I mean, the third claim is uh, still very intact. I just moved all the dirt, so uh, we could do that, but I don't I don't want to do that. To be honest, I'm, uh, I'm, t I'm getting tired of digging. I've basically been digging for uh, a year and a half-ish, like a few times a week. But yeah, I, yeah. So I also wanted to jump my truck into that pit because that first road kind of goes up. So I think I'll try and do that as well. Last time I remember I had a bunch of junk in the back of my trunk, so I was going to say uh, in the bed, but junk in the trunk, you know, so I had to go with it. Yep. Alright, let's try it from here, I guess. I don't think it'll work. I think it's just too, too slow. 30, 20. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's the best we're going to get. Alright guys, yeah, we're going to go into town, we're going to smelt the gold and sell the gold, and uh, buy a couple more skins, and I guess call it a video.
call it a series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I don't know what we'll be doing next. Um, so I've been playing some Fishing North Atlantic. I'm thinking about posting that. But that I've already gone like I would say maybe halfway through the game. So it'll only be like a half a series because the other videos are still, you know, up on my channel. So I think that might be what we'll do. Um, I've been playing Stranded Deep, I've been posting a few of those. Those are sort of my my bonus weekend videos now. But yeah, I don't know what we'll do next. We'll find something obviously, but I hope you guys will follow me there, and I uh, hope you enjoy watching whatever we play next. Uh, you know what I just thought of? We should have brought the, uh, the Magnetite trailer and sold that. Not the trailer, the, the Magnetite, but whatever. It's all good. We're just kind of winging it. This is the last video. I think I'll fill up on gas here just because. That way at least we got a full gas tank. Because we are getting decently low. Yeah, I think I'll just cut it out. I'll, I'll go smelt all those bars. I'll, maybe I'll smelt one and you guys can watch and then we'll cut the rest. Alright, here we are for one last time. Again, 320 ounces of gold. We lose, we lose eight ounces and uh, eight thousand dollars to pay him to smelt it or her. First one's done. All right, we got our last gold bar. So I think we're just going to leave these gold bars here in the ground, and uh, it's a present for the next person who finds them. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, um, once you smelt your gold bars, it doesn't really matter where they are in the game. The game just knows you have gold somewhere. So you can just go to the either the bank or your tablet and sell it. So here we are at the bank. Let's check the gold per... Yeah, let's check the prices. I clicked on the bars. So it's about the same as it was. It didn't really change. Er, 1278. We're getting about 400,000 for each of these. Our last one's about 300. So we got 2.84 million dollars, so about 2 million dollars-ish um, from about 20 days of uh, work. So if we did a full year, it'd be just under f about 4 mil, because there's only 37 days. Sorry about the audio. Um, I don't know why both my microphone and my game sounds. The, the microphone got completely cut and the game sounds is now choppy for the last like minute or so. But yeah, we've literally bought every single piece of equipment in this um, at some point. The only one that we do not have right now is the small excavator. So I think we're going to buy that just to have them all. 20,000, oh my gosh. I forgot how much, like how cheap that is. Like when you start up the game, twenty thousand was a lot, but now, like I remember when I bought this one, hundred and twenty-three thousand, like that was a huge deal. And now it's like, did I make, I don't know, hundred thousand in like a half a day or a day or two days or something? So we'll order that. We'll go to the paint shop. Now we'll spend some money here. So. I don't know which paints we'll get on which vehicles we'll get them, but we're definitely going to be buying something. For this Frankenstein, I think we're going to go with camo, so we'll paint that. 500,000. For this one, let's just do some different stuff. Let's do one with leopard, and then let's do this one with pink. And then everything's painted besides the dump truck, so let's paint that. Let's do another camo. I, I like the camo. I don't think, I don't know, do I have enough money to do Dragon Scale even? So yeah, we have 1.9 million, so we couldn't even do Dragon Scale if we wanted to. So we'll paint the pickup, that's 500,000. So we have about 500,000 left, let's do the dump truck and camo, and that'll be it. 
You know, every th every single thing has a at least a hundred thousand dollar camo paint. I'll I'll make our way back to the claim and I'll show you guys what we got. All right, so we are back now on our claim. Let me pull down here a little bit and then I'll park. And oh, start spinning out of control. It's a good spot to park though. So we got the leopard print on this Frankenstein. And then up here, we have another well, another Frankenstein, but not another uh, leopard print. This is the camo Frankenstein we got. We have our dragon scale front end loader, which we got in the last video, and our pink Frankenstein now. And then we'll just run past our truck quick, which is camo, which you guys kind of already saw. But then we'll take a look at the dump truck, and that'll be it. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the game, the series, you know, whatever. And I hope you'll follow me to whatever we do next. I'm thinking we'll play some Fishing North Atlantic. We have some Stranded Deep. And I've been wanting to play some Scum and some, some sports titles. I've been just feeling playing some sports lately. So we'll probably do that. I know a lot of you guys probably won't watch that, but hopefully you follow me there. But I like this, the paint on this. The top part looks like rust, the bottom part looks like mud. So I think it looks kind of cool. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.